Bassanio's pulled out with his with his bruised foot, and and then Jose is not fit. So even even Nate Nate tried to play. Nate tried to exit the 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 fight cleanly. You know there was there was many discussions. It doesn't matter what weight divisions or anything, or even what belt is on the line, because really I should create my own belt because I am in myself my own belt. It doesn't matter weight. It doesn't matter if it's a featherweight, a lightweight, a welterweight. It's the McGregor belt. There's no hesitation on my part. I already rocked the whole time. I said it months ago. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck either. I don't, either. Fuck. I don't give a fuck either. He's like a, he's like a little cholo gangster from the hood. But at the same time, but at the same time, he coaches kids to jiu on a Sunday morning and goes on bike rides with the elderly. He makes gun signs with the right hand and animal balloons with the left hand. So I. I you're a credit to the community. They're all on steroids. The only weight I care Everybody. about. Steroids? What are you talking about steroids? Let me talk. Let me put my name in steroids. I'm major against that. Don't put my name in the name of steroids, Nate. Ten days out. Let's see what this man is about. He talked like I took something from him. That's what he said after the fight. I've taken everything he's worked for. And I, I work like a motherfucker. I, I don't get our shape. He gets our shape. His fight against Asanios, he looked like this, he was the skinniest fat guy I've ever seen in my life. Relax, relax, Nick. He's doing good. He's doing good up here, Nick. Relax. So, he, yeah, I took like no from him. I worked midgets. hard. I worked hard midgets. and that's it. All midgets. I fought fucking every fucking week forever, motherfucker. I've been in the UFC forever fighting everybody. Everybody's on steroids. The whole UFC. Everybody. <laughs> Your teammate Gil and Jake were too caught on steroids. Did you know they were taking that stuff? Did you know they were taking that stuff? Did you? You're on steroids. He will be too slow in there. The speed will stifle him. His soft body and his lack of preparation, he will not be able to handle the uh, ferocity. So, end of the first, I feel he will be put away. Congratulations, you did it. You know, most people, when they get that red panty night on me, they ring home to their wife. Baby, we did it. Nate rings Nick. Baby, we did it. So I'm happy. I'm happy to give Nate the paycheck. Nate, congratulations. You're rich now. I didn't ask. They called repeatedly for months. So, Connor's congratulations to you, motherfucker. I'm the show. Are you gonna keep this? Are you gonna keep this standing up, or are you gonna test his jujitsu skills against yours? We're gonna fight. I wanted to make you rich at UFC 189. Yeah, right. They, 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 they called Mendez. Megan. They, they called Megan. Mendez. They're like, Gregor only Mendes. wants to fight you. That's all they want That's is the you to fight I you. I did, I did. All right, yeah, you I did. did. I'm looking forward to it, so let's do it. And they gave me a fuckload of money. You know what I said? I said, I want more of that shit. <laughs> How about that, motherfucker? Conor McGregor is a combination of all the lessons that everyone has ever learned through self-promotion and through positive thinking and belief in oneself all combined in one insane Irishman with an entire country behind him. His aura, his energy that he brings into the octagon is like some sort of Celtic warrior that's been resurrected from the grave and given a pair of spandex shorts and thrown into the octagon. It's a completely different type of human being. I'm, I'm happy I get to be there when all this is going down because I really feel like he is a, a huge part of combat sports history. And I think that when all is said and done, when we look back on this 20, 30 years from now, the Conor McGregor era will be something truly special. And now you can go again. And take that leg in, the right. Yes, beautiful. Now change sides. I have so much energy. I'm on weight right now. I've had two breakfasts. I feel really good. Get it. Get it. Get the money. Lock it. Just walking absolutely everything got to do with movement. Beautiful. Following this new nutrition diet. Roy Nelson sent us the huge diet. <laughs> I think facing me across the octagon is intimidating enough. I don't have to do anything to intimidate these people because they already are intimidated. I just say what I feel. Nobody critiques me more than I critique myself. It's real. If it's not real, I won't say it. I won't fabricate something. I don't like that. I don't like when it's fixed or it, that's weird to me. 
I just don't get it. A lot of people can perform in the gyms, a lot of great gym competitors, but when the lights are on and when it's time to perform in front of the millions of people watching and the packed out arenas, people freeze. Me, I don't give a Everybody nowadays is like, there's this new movement stuff that Connor is bringing to the table, but that was already around. That's what inspired us to begin with, so. They're acting like he's ahead of the game and jumping ahead of the game. I've already been there, done that, so it's nothing new to us. You might be fooling all these other people, but we ain't fooled by that. Oh, it's nothing like a full belly. Three, four days to the way in, and I have a full belly. <laughs> yes, it's it. How are you, boys? How are you, sir? Nice to meet you, too. How are you? How are you? Life is good in my world. Yes, so, yes, no so. complaints. No complaints. <laughs> yes. I know that GM session. All day walk. All day long walk. Wake up, train half the day, eat half the day. Skin the cat. All the way, get your feet in front of you, stretch, reverse it into a pull up. High and lower, all the way down, controlled. <laughs> He's dressed up to the nines. <laughs> In a Sunday fest. Good <laughs> race. Oh, you come on then. I'll see you in a bit, yeah? Champ Rafael Dos Anjos, 155 pound division, will take on Conor McGregor moving up from 145 pound division. Never been done. Nobody's ever held two belts at the same time here in the UFC. He had a training accident. He has a broken foot. I looked at the picture that Los Angeles put up and it's a, it's a bruise. I mean, I heard ice walks wonders. What do you want me to say? Everyone else went woman. So, mate, congratulations. You're rich now. I didn't ask. They called me. Congratulations to you, on the show. Conor McGregor is moving from 145 pounds to 170 pounds. The only way I give a f about is the weight of them checks. And my checks are always super heavy weight. So I don't give a f The bigger you are, the harder you fall. You better get out of my way. I'm a decimator. Oh, decimator. There's a respect there between us. But it's business in, in, in there. And, and business is business. He will be KO'd. We got a lot spoken and it's good. It's good. Get a new if you're gonna fight, fight people, you shouldn't be holding back. You should tell, tell people what you think. Conor McGregor, you're taking everything I work for. I'm a fight jerk. You know what's the real fight? What's the real money fight? It's me. That's amazing. Can't believe it's really gonna happen. Hey everyone, Megan Olivi here, joined by Nate Diaz, who takes on Conor McGregor this Saturday night at UFC 196 in the main event. Nate, this has been a crazy two weeks for you. He's got to he's got to look at what I do and and, and recognize that it's real, and uh, I'm not falling into this that he's trying to push off on everybody and uh, and get all caught up in this like I'm I'm the show because I'm the show. You know what I'm saying? How do you get it done Saturday night? I feel the heel will be a dangerous weapon. The the, the front of the foot, the shin, the uppercuts, the overhands, the body. I will butcher his, his soft frame. He will abandon position and end up on his back or end up in a scramble. So I feel if he is still conscious when he hits the deck, I will crush his hips, pass his guard and mount him. He was doing his thing at the press conference. He's gonna try to bust me out and call me a cholo. But that's the background I come from, you know? It's like hardcore where I live. If, if he would came from where I come from, he wouldn't have made it, man. And then as far as teaching jujitsu, yeah, I do seminars. I'm trying to push uh, martial arts out there, inspire people. That's the only thing that kind of might have irritated me. It, it, like, there was no logic. It was kind of uncalled for. It seemed real rehearsed. Like he was plotting on trying to make a fool of me or something. They give you a fight with the fucking new guy who's supposed to be the shit, but he ain't working with nobody, he ain't working with no black belts, he ain't sport, had no, had no legitimate sparring, has no legitimate trainer. Look at this trainer. It's like, this is ridiculous here. You don't have anybody in MMA on a level like this. Yeah! You gotta warn me when that happens. <laughs> so you get brushed. So you get brushed up. No, I, I enjoy the beach. There's something relaxing about waking up every morning and looking out at the sea and the sky and the sand. It's a good place out here. But now we go to Vegas, the desert. Place to place, 
Ass whooping to ass whooping. Check to check. Another day. That would kill you, no? <laughs> so again, it's like a jab. Yeah. An electric jab. Fuck it. Let's, let's do it. <laughs> No, fuck that. Just one less, man. <laughs> no way. I just woke up to the face of... It's been a very happy camp. You know, uh, Conrad didn't have to cut weight. He was just enjoying his steaks every night. If you think about it, who are the best movers on the planet? I mean, the animals. I mean, look at the gorilla, look at the cheetah. It's the fastest animal on the planet. So, you know, if you can imitate those movements and incorporate them into your training, it's unbelievable. It frees up the body. Always. And I'm going to stop here. I'll keep going. If the fight makes sense, I don't give a fuck about weight. We see as Chris Avila, Avila, UFC embedded. A lot of talk, a lot of exposure, a lot of cameras. Obviously, it's good for the sport, it's good for everybody's pocket. Three days, five days, four months, whatever. I'm the fuck. I'm ready to rock and do Eat your vegetables. Do you know how much talent there is in that mat? There's over a hundred years of fighting training. Everybody in there is black belts. We got a whole team here. Everybody here is training for war, man. Even like, you know, I'm fighting this weekend, but these guys are all warriors. Represent for me like I represent for them when they're fighting. And uh, the, the backup, the support. Fuck me. This is a suit. This is my breakfast today? Yeah. There's a table in here, right? Yeah. I can eat me breakfast in the car, yeah? We call Connor. Connor doesn't care. Connor says, I will fight anybody, anytime, in any way. And Nate Diaz, the only fighter that is perhaps more outspoken than McGregor, got the call. You gotta wanna watch this fight. There ain't no other fights to watch. The five round main event will be contested at Welterweight, a full 25 pounds above the division in which McGregor is champion. Jose Aldo. Take the right hand into a lead hook, but I stepped outside the range and I tipped him on the chain. There was no power involved in it, but it was enough to shut the lights out. These guys are trying to step up and talk now. It's too late. You guys are already lost. His jiu-jitsu is some of the best. Mark is going to go sleep. Second, it's all over! In the land, you ain't got but with no major injuries, he decided to roll it back and compete again at UFC 196, just 12 weeks later. Conor McGregor, he's saying all the same that I've been saying for the last five years. He knows where he talks all that money, but he knows where it's at. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Look at this, Nate's in his head now. Yeah. Conor McGregor, you're taking everything I work for, I'm gonna fight your ass. You know what's the real fight? What's the real money fight? It's me. People want to see. He's a ninja. I'm the ninja. Ninja Gaiden, American Ninja, Irish Ninja. Represent you. Oh boy, I'm right here. I just want to find that place where people quit, and I want to be there as much as possible and push through. And Conor McGregor looked unbelievable in his last fight. This is a very very fun fight. I will be coming out the gate fast, explosive, powerful, precise. And that's it. He has a bully mentality until a, until a real man shows up. Like Mike Tyson said, he's scared of the real man. Fuck John Annie. Fuck you. How about that? 20,000 to show, 20,000 to win. Not even a win bonus. His full check wasn't even a performance of the night bonus. 
now now he's at the pop in his sherry and he's going to make his first million here. So um, he really should be thankful. And I could easily switch you up now and go put your bag on that 20, 20 and 20 if you want. But all I want is a thank you or even a little dance. You're welcome. Dance for me, Nate. Dance for me. And don't look me in the eye when you dance. Vegas is good to me. The, the dirt is, is clean. You can scoop it up and stuff bodies in there easily, so. I will continue to do that. Your little gazelle friends are gonna be staring through the cage, looking at you getting, getting your carcass getting eaten alive, and they can do nothing. Out, huh? All they're gonna do is say, no we're never gonna cross all. this river again. Top 10 kickboxers. You don't got, you're playing touch butt with that dork in the park. I said yes to 155. While they procrastinated, then I Dana, said 170. Dana, did he say on yes to 155? Yes. <laughs> well, there you go, that's it. There you go. 170 was my call. The next day I said, you know, nothing's no, 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 changed. No, no. You, you guys want to call back. You, you don't make any calls. You only answer the call. That's it. I will find out 170. That's it. The dream fight, you know, I, there, there isn't really, you know, I, I just, I'd love to fight myself if, if I really could. I mean, imagine the numbers that one would do. But I've hunted him down. I stalked him like my, like my prey. And now I have him, and Saturday night I will eat his carcass in front of his little gazelle friends, and they can do absolutely nothing. But as far as me taking everything he's worked for, I am a workhorse. I have worked and built and climbed this ladder through hard work and through dedication, so I have taken nothing from nobody. I have, I have built myself up. This guy in the park with that goofball with the ponytail. Train with bums. Boom, funny motherfucker Juice with heads. the stupid haircut. Juice heads and bums. I, one of my little ones, dude, slapped the shit out of that guy. What the fuck? UFC fans, it's great to be back in Las Vegas as we welcome you to the official weigh-ins for UFC 196, McGregor versus Diaz. Here is Joe Rogan. What's up, my friends? Welcome to the weigh-ins. Connor doesn't care. Connor says, I will fight anybody, anytime, in any way. 27 years of age, with every record in the book. BJ Penn wanted the fight. Um, Anthony Pettis wanted this fight. A lot of guys wanted this fight, but he will fight Nate Diaz. You knocked out three midgets and you're pumped up. I'm just simply the best fighter, and that's it. He will be KO'd inside the fourth round. It's another day for me. One pulls out, another one steps in. I'm used to it. I was just giggling at his little soft body. I, I, I've never seen a skinny guy. How can a fat guy be so skinny at the same time? I've never. What the fuck are you looking at? I strangle you in a heartbeat. And you as well, you little juice head. Slap the shit out of you. You know, he fucking even touches you and then it's on. Yeah. I ain't leaving. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? You'll do nothing. You'll do fucking nothing. Fucking slap that motherfucker. What? What are you gonna do? I love it. I love it. Thank you so much. And your girlfriend. We love her too. Careful now. <laughs> Look at your lineup. Look at my lineup. You know what I'm saying? I've been fighting top guys in lightweight and what's your weight for the last nine years. What is that shit? What is that shit? That's some white bass shit, right shit now, yeah. Man. My body is supple, solid, free, like a silverback. 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 Like
cow for it, I knew it. I love it. You look good, brother. Thank you, brother. Congratulations. Thank you. We've got to take you upstairs. You almost got your ass whooped out. Oh, you almost got your ass whooped. <laughs> Superstar who ended a legend's 10 year unbeaten run with a 13 second knockout. That's it! Meets a top lightweight contender. McGregor versus Diaz is on! We welcome you to UFC 196. McGregor versus Diaz. The reach of Nate Diaz. That could play a big factor in this fight. He is the notorious Conor McGregor, a man who has held true to his promise that he wasn't here to take part. He was here to take over. who is as long and as slick with his boxing as Nate Diaz. Diaz, older, taller, two-inch reach advantage. It's time! The number five right USC lightweight contender in the world, Nate Diaz! All right, gentlemen, we've been over the rules. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. Touch gloves if you wish. Let's do this. Fatigue should not be a factor for either fighter. Nate training for the triathlon, Joe mentioned. Nate Diaz a making big, up some ground here in the second round. Big Black difference that here uppercut. is the ball. Oh, he tagged him. him with the good one there. He tagged him. He heard him. He caught him again with the right hook. Choke, pounds on him again, and just locks it in deep. And Nate Diaz walks away with the biggest victory of his life. Declaring the winner by submission due to a rear naked choke, Nate Diaz! He just shook up the world. How's that feel? Hey, I'm not surprised, motherfuckers. <laughs> I want to give a shout out to my brother Nick Diaz, the man, the main man. They're the new king of this motherfucker now, and it's right here, all right? I took the chance going, going at 170, but Nate came in. He was there. Uh, I felt I took him the fourth round, but I, I was inefficient with my energy. But I'm humble in victory or defeat. Nate, uh, you just got stitched up. The fight was over about half an hour ago. How are you feeling right now? Has anything sunk in about that performance? Yeah, I, I think I could have done uh, better with the camp. You know, I don't think I would have, I would have, no shots would have landed. I, I didn't have no sparring. Were you surprised the way he came out? No, he came out like I like I expected. And people, when, like on the rails though, people try to take take me out for real and really try to fight me like he does. He tries to really fight people like I do. Uh, I've been dealing with that for my whole whole career. Dude, it's like, hey, hey, it's nothing out of the norm, man. I, I train with some straight beasts, you know what I'm saying? My boy, Chris, uh, my boy Chris Avila right here is a pro boxer. You're a lightweight. Where does this go for your future here? Well, I'm the 145-pound champ now, so I guess uh, I'll be the champion in that division for a while. And then, um, I don't know, man. Time, time will tell. Money talks. We'll see what happens. When I threw the left hand, his, his chin was just out of the way on a few of the occasions. I should have changed to the body a lot more and, and butchered that body. But um, 
I didn't adjust to it in there. I didn't read to it, and that's it. I blew, I blew my load. There, there were all these celebrities here tonight, and, and and you know you have something exciting when people who've done it all, seen it all, been everywhere, and done everything are standing around going, "Holy shit, what just happened?" <laughs> so. It was uh, it was a crazy night. Connor makes this thing so fun. He makes fighting so fun mm -hmm. to come out and fight a guy two weight classes ahead of you, you know, that's never been knocked unconscious or knocked out, um, and then come out and fight him the way that he fought him. It's it's just it's fun, man. Th there were some really uh, you know Connor looked the stuff that he was throwing the way that he was throwing he looked incredible. He even hurt Nate to the body, mm -hmm. um, you know. It was a fight, man. Listen, this thing was what it was. These are two guys that wanted to fight, and everybody saw a fight tonight. This thing right now is it's breaking every record we've ever had. Pretty much biggest fight ever. You know, hats off to Nate. He fought very well. He stayed in there. A lot of people have crumbled under the shots, and his range was um, a factor. My, right, my left hand was falling short sometimes. The wheel kicks didn't really, but... I am not forgetting about the 155 pound division. I am not certainly forgetting about the 170 pound division. I actually enjoyed, I enjoyed the fact that the shots, I enjoyed the fact that a person could take the shots and keep coming. I, I make no excuses. This is, it is what it is. I, 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 I was, uh, I came up short. I took a chance, it didn't pay off. I'll be back. It will be, a, it's a tough pill to swallow, but yeah. We can either run from adversity or we can face our adversity head on and conquer it. And that's what I plan to do. Wish I had the same push, the same help. I've been in this a long time. I've been nine years. Uh, I was like my 25th fight here in the UFC. And uh, I, I, I've been in the last few years curious when this is going to pay off. And um, I think it's time. Not, now, it's, now it's time. He punches hard. He's, he's, he's a hard, hard hitting little guy, but nothing I never felt before. So. Uh, and I expected, I expected if I get hit by anybody, it's probably going to be hard, you know? I think after I defend my belt and climb myself back up, I think I will get my shot at that lightweight belt once again. So maybe me and Nate can do it again.